Hello all, I am Dr. Ashish Agrawat. In this video, I am going to discuss about the interpretation of hemoglobin electrophoresis for identification of different hemoglobinopathies. Okay. We will see different images, different images of hemoglobin electrophoresis on agarose, on agarose medium, mainly the alkaline pH. This is a hemoglobin electrophoresis pattern in alkaline medium or acidic medium. We will mainly discuss in this video about the alkaline hemoglobin electrophoresis. So this is the cathode side, this is the anode side. You can see here HbA has a highest mobility followed by the fetal hemoglobin, then HbS. At the HbS, there can be either HbD and HbG. So HbS, HbD, HbG. They will fall at the same level in alkaline hemoglobin electrophoresis on agarose medium. While at the HbA2 region, also there can be HbC, HbE, and HbO. You can remember CEO at the A2 region. This HbC is mainly seen in the African area. HbE is not Northeast India, like West Bengal, Assam, where HbE is very common. HbO is found mainly in the Arab area. Okay. And whenever you want to differentiate between this HBS, HBD, HBD, either you can use the HBLC or we can do the acid HB electrophoresis. Okay. So you can see here this is the cathode side, this is the anode side. The highest mobility of HBA, then fetal, then HBS, HBD, HBG, and HBQ India, and also HB Lepore, they will, they will be seen at around S region. Okay. While at the A2 region, there can be CEO and A2. Okay and lowest mobility of the carbonic anhydrase. You can see there will be carbonic anhydrase and A2 and S, F, A. This HBJ, HBJ mirror, which is found in India, it is a fast moving hemoglobin. Fast moving hemoglobin. Okay. You can see here, this is the cathode side, this is the anode side, this is the point of application. So you can appreciate here, this is the carbonic anhydrase band, there is a A2 and there is a band at the A region. So this will be the normal person hemoglobin electrophoresis. Okay. If you find band at the S region and light band of the F, that will be mainly the sickle cell disease. Right. This is a control AFS mixture. Okay. While in case of sickle trait patient, there is a band at the S region as well as at the A region. So that will be sickle cell trait. Okay. And you can appreciate here, there is a band at the fetal and some amount of the adult. So this will be the cold blood or dim bone. This is the photograph of the HBLC. You can appreciate around 75% of HBS is there and fetal is around 20% in case of sickle cell disease. Okay. This is the point of application, carbonic anhydrase A2. And if, so this will be the normal patient. While these three are the band at the S region and A region, that means it is a sickle cell ring. Okay. While in case of newborn, there is a band at the F and A region. Okay. So this will be a newborn or cold blood. You can see here, this is the HPLC report. So S percentage is around 34. So if a heterozygous, the percentage will be around 20 to 40 percent. Homozygous, the percentage will be 70 to 90 percent. As it is 34 percent, and also there is a HBA is there, so this is sickle cell trait. Okay, this is the classical picture where father is a sickle trait, the band at the A and S region, mother is also sickle trait, band at the A and S region. Okay, while the child unfortunately has a sickle cell disease. Okay, you can see only one band that at the S region there is sickle cell disease. Okay, okay. again you can see here. Band at the S and A region, that will be sickle trait. Band at the larger band at the S region and lighter portion of F, that is a sickle cell disease. Okay. Here, if there is a band at the A and S region, it can be sickle trait. Okay. But we have discussed that at the S region, also there can be HBD or HBG, okay, Philadelphia or even HBQ India. So, oh, we have to confirm it. So, if we perform solubility test, solubility test or sickling 
stays with the sodium metabisulfite. Okay. If this stays is positive and bad at the A and S region, then it will be sickle cell trait. But if the solubility or sickle taste is negative and bend at the S and A region, like here, this is the case. This case is solubility negative and sickle negative. But there is a bend at the S region. So it can be either HBD, HBG, or HBQ India. But HBQ India is around 25%. So HBQ India cannot be there. HB labor is also around 10 to 15%. So it cannot be there. So it can be either HBD or HBG, which can be differentiated by the HP and C. You can see here, this is a normal patient, normal patient, normal patient, this is our control. And you bend at the A and S region and solubility is negative, then it can be HBD Punjab. HBD Punjab. Okay, what is the defect? There is a the beta chain at 121 position. Glutamic acid, glutamic acid is replaced by the glutamine. Okay. And patient as such is asymptomatic. Okay, so if there is a bend at the S region, it can be either HBS, HBD or HBG. Okay, we can be differentiated by the HB and C. So this is a photograph. Okay, of the patient. You can see there is a 32% of HBD and 56% of HBA. So it was a HBD citrozygous. HBD citrozygous. Now you can appreciate this uh, picture. Okay, so if you see this here. There is a point of application here, there will be carbonic anhydrase, A2, and you can see normal HbA2, normal HbA2 is less than 4, okay. But here, you can see there is a band, the percentage is similar to the HbA, okay. So what can be there at the A2 region? So, if there is a normal patient, there will be very faint band, but here there is a band similar to HbA. So, you can see here, band at the A2, it can be either HbC or HbE or HBO Arab, okay, and HBC may be seen in the African, HBO is in the Arab, and India, in the Northern East part like West Bengal, Assam, so HBE is very, very common, HBE is very common, so this is the HBE heterozygous, HBE heterozygous, patient have a mild anemia and microcytosis, okay, that can be confirmed with the help of HPLC, okay, you can see the portion of HBA2 of 34%, it is mainly the HBE you can see here, this is a diagram where this is the point of application, this is the carbonic anhydrase A2 and this is the energy hemoglobin. This hemoglobin will move faster than HbA okay? and it is around 20 to 25%. So what is the defect here? Here the alanine is replaced by the glutamic acid in alpha chain. So the HbJ merit, there is the alpha chain variant and because of the uh, negatively charge, so it will move faster than HBA also. So this is the HBJ merit which can be differentiated by the HPLC. Now, if you see here, this is a diagram. This is a pattern of father. Okay. So father has a A band as well as F. So that is the hereditary persistence of fetal hemoglobin HPFS trait. We can say light band. So it will be trait. The mother was beta thalassemia trait. Beta thalassemia trait cannot be identified in the electrophoresis, agarose gel electrophoresis alkaline medium because this HbA2 will be around 4 to 9 percent in electrophoresis. So we cannot uh, appreciate it properly. Okay, But that father has a HbFS trait and mother has a beta thalassemia trait and the child has, you can see the band at the F region. Okay? So it is the only fetal band can is seen. No adult, no other band. So only fetal band. So patient had a severe disease, severe manifestation. Okay, just like beta thalassemia major. So this is all about the interpretation of agarose gel electrophoresis. I will make separate video on interpretation of hemoglobinopathy on HPLC. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video to your friends, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and click on the all so you can get all notifications for my videos. If you have any doubts, please write in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye.